Hi, I'm class. It's Miss Cook here. This is your help guide for reading um, Thursday, week four. So lesson four on your home learning pack. <clears throat> We're just going to have a little look what I want you to do for your reading today. We have a new piece of core text that we're going to be looking at in our reading session today. So it's called the deforestation debate against deforestation. So I know that some of you that were in Oak class last year did a lot of work around deforestation. So you need to be using your understanding and your knowledge from there to help support you with the questions that you've got today. But again, like it is with reading, all of the answers are inside this piece of text. We just need to make sure that we're reading it properly and we're looking for clues in there um, around other words that it could be trying to tell us and what information it is giving us. We're not gonna guess the answers because they are all inside the text. reading focus today is summarising. We were doing summarising yesterday as well, so we're just going to be building on some of them skills that we were looking at yesterday. So what does it mean to summarise when we're reading? It's summing something up basically. What have we read? What key bits of information are inside there? Okay, so we might have a long piece of text, but it's about um, condensing that and saying what the main key points are. So that's what summarising is. So again, on the slide, I've just put some of the summarising stems that we use um, in our whole class reading sessions that we use in school. And obviously we've been using at home as well this week. So help use these to help structure some of the answers to the questions that you are going to need to be answering today. So for your first question on your home learning, it says which word is closest in meaning to the word perspective? OK, so have a look through the text, find where it is mentioning perspective in the core text that we've got today. Read around it and then you need to tick to say whether it is seen, viewpoint or shape. OK, if we're really not too sure, once we've read around the text, perhaps you could get yourself a dictionary and look it up or a theosaurus to help you answer this question. So another question in your home learning for today is in your own words, summarize what deforestation is. So we're using the information from the text that I've given you, and you're just going to summarise what deforestation is. So you could use any one of these stems to help you with that, to scaffold your answer to that question. So read the text and it will explain to you what deforestation is. However, we're not copying what it says in the text. We are going to summarise it in our own words. The next question that you have for your home learning is why is deforestation bad for the environment? Use one of these stems to help you scaffold the answer to your question. But again, the answers are inside the text. We've just got to make sure that we are reading it. It will tell us why deforestation is bad. But you can also build upon your existing knowledge from your learning last year if you were in Oak class when you completed this piece of learning. Further question on your home learning is what reasons does the author give to argue that planting new trees doesn't solve the problem? So it's what reasons does the author give? So look over the text, tell me what the main reasons are that they give on why planting new trees do does not solve the problem of deforestation. You can use one of the sentence stems again to help you answer that question. And again, if you have any questions about the home learning, whether it be for reading the English or the maths, join us on the Zooms that are available for you at 11.30 or at 2.45. And we'll be there to answer any of the questions that you have. I hope you have a lovely day. Make sure that you're listening and doing as you've been asked and try it really hard with your home learning. Speak to you soon and have a lovely day. Bye.